everyone. So today is eight days post-op and I'm on my way to um, have my one week appointment and I will let you guys know how everything goes. Hopefully I can get one of these drains out because they suck and they hurt. So. Hi everyone. So this is day eight post-op from a body lift and what a body lift it is I had an outer thigh lift a butt lift and my lower stomach um done or what is called the apron I call it the belly hang whatever all the different terms but I had that part removed and this is part one of my surgery I still have another surgery that's coming up um, I don't know when yet I'm just worrying about the first surgery before I start caring about the second but um i'm just trying to heal right now you guys i am so 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 shocked that i am doing as well as i am with my recovery i literally thought i was going to be down and out just in so much excruciating pain for weeks and weeks and weeks and months like i just thought i was going to literally die and i over I, I didn't need to worry um, at all because the first three days I can definitely say was really tough and as long as you take your meds you would be fine but after the third day I was feeling pretty okay and the only reason why I took medication on the fourth day was because people were saying you got to take your medication around the clock but I really wasn't feeling much pain so I kind of listened to my own body and I contacted my plastic surgeon and said, well, I'm not in much pain and I don't like taking prescription drugs. So he said I can go ahead and switch to extra strength Tylenol. So from day one to three, I was on hydrocodone. And then now I've been taking um, extra strength Tylenol. And I really don't even use it. I use it at night because I have a hard time sleeping, like pains and stuff when I'm sleeping. I hate waking up for it. So I take it before I go to bed. Um, it took me six days to finally get into my bed. You guys, literally six days. Every day I tried a little bit more. Um, so now I'm able to sleep in my bed um, very comfortably. So that's pretty good. I just need tons of... I mean, I have so many pillows, it's ridiculous. And I just use it to help keep me up and elevated. Today, I finally got my garment. So hopefully that'll help with the swelling because my swelling is out of this world. I would try to put in some pictures. I'm sorry I couldn't vlog during those other days, you guys. But I was really trying to recover and, you know, just heal, heal my body. And I will definitely start commenting back to you guys i see you guys comments i've read them i just couldn't um respond back don't take it as i'm like ignoring you guys but i'm not at all um what else so i guess that's pretty much an update i'm able to sleep in my bed now six days post-op i was able to get in the bed um i was able to use the bathroom by myself from day one um I still need help put it on socks there we go so I can get dressed oh y'all good tip get you one of those hangers in your closet and it helps like pick things up for you so um, I needed to get help getting on um, my pants and my panties on um, from day four until I got hood and used a hanger so ever since then I use um, either a hanger to pick something up or to help like pull up my pants so those like they're free and they're cheap and so handy so you won't have to rely on people to help you do everything but i do need help with socks um my upper body is fine i'm able to put on my bra put on my clothes um i'm able to walk i've been i have been clear to walk now so i can walk up until my body allows it today i was able to do roughly 15 minutes and I was done and I listened to my body I was like okay you know what that's it and then when I looked at it you guys I didn't even do half a mile I was you know what but that's fine that's part of recovery like I'm not going by what I used to do I'm just gonna have to start over and allow my body to heal I don't want to rush anything so 
I just stopped at 15 minutes. Hopefully I can do more tomorrow. If not, hey, you know what? It's all good. I got more than enough time to get my strength back I was up. able to get two drains taken out. So hopefully that will help a lot because they're really uncomfortable. And I think that's pretty much it, you guys. If you have any tips or tricks, you can go ahead and leave them below. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the prayers and all of the love. I truly was thinking about you guys. Like when I woke up, I remember asking for my mom. I was like, for my subscribers. So I was thinking about you guys during my surgery. I love you guys so much. Like in real life, I love you. So thank you for all the love and support. And I will try to insert some pictures. Oh, 11 pounds of skin was removed. I'm up about 10... 10 pounds so I'm 171 right now and when I went into surgery I was 165 so I'm I have a lot of water retention I'm super bloated but that's totally normal I will start seeing my results within the next few weeks but from what what I see now you guys I'm gonna be looking really nice I oh my the fact that I can look down and not see that hangy part that in itself was enough for me and like my vv area is all cute and newly shaped oh my god guys i'm really loving my results and everything is super swollen so i just know i'm gonna love it even more when i completely heal so again thank you for your support and i will talk with y'all later bye